and go hiking. Holy Beautiful cow. Day. Yeah, everyone yeah. is applauding Take this weather. Take all the credit for that, I right? totally will. <laughs> and again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a little bit warmer, actually, believe it or not, before things really change for mm -hmm. us. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. But first, ooh, oh, we have a beauty shot from the chopper. Well, let's bring it on. Let's start with that. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, man. Can we just stand here for five minutes and watch it? You, you know, there, there's that app where you do nothing for 15 seconds. So maybe we should try it. Just go one, two, three. No, just kidding. Okay, what a pretty picture. A few clouds out there on the horizon. This morning we started off with the pea soup, the fog. It broke away and now we're left with mostly sunny skies. There you go, downtown Portland. Pretty picture, 58 degrees now. Mount Hood Meadows, it's 35 degrees. And it is going to be a busy place up there this week for sure. Uh, heading out to Western Oregon University, you can see just a few fair weather cumulus clouds on the horizon. And Lincoln City, 51. A wind is starting to pick up a little bit more out here out of the northwest between about 15 to 20 miles per hour. But otherwise, everything looking really good here. Gusting up to about 20 miles per hour. Newport, 20 miles per hour. Pacific City, but not doing too bad at Seaside, about 15 miles per hour. So, woo, look at that. Look at the Eastern Pacific. There's a lot going on here. So when you zoom in on the satellite imagery of these clouds, what you can't see here with the naked eye is that this is packing a whole lot of moisture. This is a huge concern for California, not just parts of California, pretty much the entire state, especially in those recently burned areas. What does it mean for us, though, because we're on the northern end of this as it appears, but as the system starts to approach and make its way eastward, it will also be making a little bit of a turn to the northeast and heading our direction. Now, the bulk of the moisture not coming our way, but we'll be tapping into a bit of that. See, look here. Subtropical moisture goes all the way down to Hawaii. That's the air mass source, is very warm and moist. So current temperatures at this point, we're at 61 in the Dalles, Pendleton 55, Baker City 43, 46 in Burns, low to mid 50s in the valley and along the coast. 58 right now, though, Portland Airport. Oh boy. And here you go through Hood River, looking good on I 84. Nice, sunny, bright day for us everywhere you go. Top of Cascade, Mount Hood Meadows. Nice day at 7,000 feet, where the temperature is about 29 degrees. Uh, no new snow today, but yesterday they picked up a few inches of snow. Uh, now a base of 145 inches there at Timberline. Putting our rain and snow forecast map into motion. Tomorrow, morning fog, afternoon, plenty of sunshine, though. Then the rain arriving for us on Wednesday afternoon. And through Thursday, temperatures really start to cool down. So talking about the possibility of some lower elevation snow. And you might be thinking, no, stop talking about it. Just stop. Stop the craziness. Stop the insanity. I understand Susan Powders might be coming back to the show here. God, remember her? She was real popular she, about 15, 20 years ago. She, yes, she was. She was very uh, insane. So Saturday, what we're looking at is a possibility, yes, of some low snow down oh. to 1,500 feet. Wow. Okay. It's late in the year. We are going to be monitoring this because a lot can We got a change. week still, so yes. yeah, a lot can change. Yeah. Thanks, Natasha. Sure. Well, still a hood.